Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode three of uh, Slow Running Starfield. <laughs> I'm stealing all the plants and um, getting very distracted and having fun anyway. Hi, I'm Colo. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome to episode three. Um, uh, there's a few things you need to know if you're new to a playthrough. Number one, I play very strongly with no help, no hints, no backseat gaming. Um, the mods are really, really strong on this one, so please don't give them any extra work, folks. They work really, really hard to keep this playthrough. Um, uh, exactly that, basically. Uh, let me fall over. Let me go the wrong way. Let me do completely the wrong thing. Uh, people tell me it's entertaining. Um, I might get it eventually. I also might not, but that's fine too. <laughs> Um, the other thing that you need to know, uh, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hi YouTube, um, this is originally broadcast on Twitch, uh, if you'd like to watch us play it live, then come watch us play it live, all the details are in the description below. Um, another thing you need to know is that I play this game partially with my feet, I have a disability that affects the way that I am able to grip, um, and uh, because of that, I play partially with my feet. So it's effectively the, the shoulder buttons, um, the start, select, uh, and depending on the game, a few other buttons on my feet. And then I play with a traditional controller on my lap as well. So I don't have to grip it. I don't have to hold on to it. Um, and I change the layout ever so slightly for the different games that I play. I am playing Starfield on Xbox because it's the most accessible place for me to be playing it uh, because it has the native support for the Xbox adaptive controller. Speaking of accessibility, um, I'm really loving this game and I'm really disappointed about the lack of accessibility options. Bethesda, you could do better. Um, and uh, the fact that m modders have uh, fixed so many of the, the issues uh, in their own time in the first few days before launch shows that it, it, it really wasn't an issue of time or resources um, on, on Bethesda's part. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also pop in the description and on Twitch, we've already had it in chat, but we will post it again, um, a link, which is a link that if you are finding Starfield inaccessible in any way, um, there is a very specific link where you can give the feedback for that accessible, inaccessible thing that you found, and it goes directly to the dev so anything that you find that is is really tricky for you for accessibility reasons please submit a report on that it'll go straight to the devs and it will just show them what we already know which is that this game is really inaccessible to a lot of people um and i love it it's such a good game and everybody should be able to play it so we're gonna just be chatting about that for forever and a day as well all right sweet um should we get going should we get going chat chaos always makes for more entertainment no sense in hindering that by backseating exactly chaos playthrough let's go chaos slow runner uh, we were talking earlier about whether it's a, a slow walker or a slow runner. I like to think that it's slow walking because if I say slow, no, slow, I like to think it's slow walking. Hilarious for a wheelchair user, but I think it makes it, the, the joke is more obvious when I say slow, slow running, I think. Uh, a, slow co a slow cooker. All right, here we go. Um, I don't remember who I am or what I'm doing. All I remember is that I wanted to find the well and I didn't find the well. I did find the well, but the door was closed and there was another one that was potentially available. So honestly, I'd quite feel like free to, to do help that. yourself at the bar. I don't drink. All right. I feel like if I did, I am at your service, Captain. Fine. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to start with a drink, but here we are. I was asked to, so I'll just help myself then, shall I? What's this? Woohoo! Sir Livingston's journal. Testing, testing. If you can't hear this, then alerts are muted. If you can, then congratulations. She hasn't muted alerts yet. Lordy me! Gosh, I thank you for the bits. <laughs> Sir Malcolm Livingston's appointment to the role of Constellation Chair was controversial to say the last, least, as he essentially bought his way into the position. He did? Nevertheless, Banks's contributions to the organization was substantial as evidenced by this excerpt from his personal journal. In time, the others will come to accept me as chair, I'm sure. Until then, I remain committed to improving this organization to the best of my abilities. And if those improvements rely even more on my already considerable monetary contributions, then so be it. I agreed we needed a robot, but disagreed with the purchase of a newer Model A Lunar Robotics is a shadow of what it once was. Instead, I managed to procure an original Model A manufactured on the moon. Bought him for a song. Oh, my granddad would use those words. Bought him for a song. Bought him for a song, found him rusting in some junk heap in Aquila City. 
I'm having him refurbished as I write this, and in a couple of days he'll be good as new. I've decided to name him Vasco. Oh, it's the Vasco we have! And like his namesake, I imagine he'll be as flawed as he is effective. Oh, like me. <laughs> My next step is renovating the lodge. Sebastian Banks has the good sense to name the building appropriately, but it's time to inject a bit of old world grandeur. If we are able to be the gate if we are to be the gatekeepers of art, science, culture, and exploration, our headquarters must express that. It's time I called in some favours and searched those hidden corners of the settled systems to pr procure the things that would truly make this place come alive. There are some treasures from old earth that desperately need an appropriate home. Okay. Do you think that was what I was supposed to find? Fancy ice bucket. Chandra Chardonnay. Oh, they're, they're individual bottles. That looks so, it's so tight. By the way, if you can hear the fan in the background chat, I can't apologize for it. It's extremely warm here. Dear Sir Livingston, congratulations on becoming the chair. How can one become the desk of your organization? Thank you. I like desks. <laughs> Silly, ridiculous. I love it. Thank you for the bits. Uh, I can't apologize for the fan, Jack, because it is extremely warm. It is 30.3 uh, degrees Celsius inside, um, and I've got to try and keep cool. Uh, so I can't apologize for that, friends. A martini glass. Right. Um, I, I don't appear to be able to turn on my torch in here. Uh, I mean, I could have a... I mean, I could have a drink, right? What do you bet this is, like, really fancy? Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Oh, no, I'm drunk. Oh, whoops a daisy. I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little sozzled. Whoops. Oh, whoopsie. What a shame. Oh, look. What's this here before? A little cooking station. Use. I can cook? Stop it. A strip of alien meat that's been dehydrated, salted, and flavoured with a mild teriyaki sauce. I need three out. I need one nutrient and one membrane to make alien jerky. Cool, craft. Absolutely. And I got an XP for doing some crafting. I made some dubious meat. Questionable. I made some questionable meat, chat. Nice. Oh, that was cool. Uh, well, I didn't know that I could do that. How delightful. What's in all these boxes? Clean towels, fresh towels. I am absolutely 100% convinced that there's a bloody secret room behind here. In there, there's a secret room. Look. There is, there has to be. There has to be a secret room in there. Look at, look at this. There is, there is a weird space. I I swear there's a secret room in there. Sky, thank you so much for the fresh new sub. Thank you for using your prime sub here. Welcome in. Enjoy all of your remotes. I hope that you love your potatoes. Um. Okay. I probably shouldn't be walking on here, should I? What kind of desk is this? Maybe we should just play the game how it wants me to play it. I wish that these were doors that I could actually just walk through and then walk through the books. You know, like in Narnia, except instead of a wardrobe, it's a bookcase. Exactly like that. You're still having a there look. Is a feeling, knowing that you've seen look something now, that no one else Sarah. Looks like that no one else does. Command, and thank you so much for the 23 months. It's been nearly two years. What? But thank you so much. Welcome home. Um, Sarah, I think it's time to get down now. We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. I'll do my best. 
We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. That is really exciting, isn't it? When she puts it that way, that is really exciting. Council Master, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I'm going to mute alerts while we do this because I wonder if she's going to do something. Not much, fancy. but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Is it me? Just what that <laughs> is, we'll have to figure out. Is it me? It's what we do. Okay, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting okay. my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Oh, the UC Vanguard. What's that? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. Okay. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Okay. Other people have artifacts. Goodbye. Do you think... Get off the table, Sarah. Do you think that it's gonna, like, create... I am at your service, Captain. I was gonna say, do you think it's gonna create uh, a whole sphere? They all appear to be moving around each other. I do think they tessellate, though, because look, those two pieces would lock together. I, I reckon they do tessellate. Where'd she go? Sarah, where'd she I go? Hope you oh, she listened! Satisfied with the quarters available <laughs> to you. She listened to us. I also really love each and every one of you that said that you think that the secret room is, uh, is full of potatoes. Yeah. Ready to get out there? We're going to be doing some... Okay. That means people... Yeah. I've been letting my contacts know yeah. to be... Um... Other people have artifacts. We have to assume that we're not the only ones <laughs> to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resource to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Mm. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together okay. until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Sarah will be locked as your follower if you continue. Is Sarah the uh, over, over adoring fan? Did we. Did we. <laughs> Do we find the adoring fan in this Bethesda game? <laughs> Locked as my follower. All right. Um, what do I get out of this anyway? Constellation have a salary. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? Yes. We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're Shall explorers. Suit? We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard. And oh, listen. Vac check whatever in with Vanguard? You or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. You see Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Uh, uh, you don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught.
Did somebody tell her about the plants? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. Really? If you join us, Sarah? it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Latitude in my choice of means. All right. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? All right. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Sarah Morgan can't be dismissed. Uh, uh, oh, Lord, what's happening now? I'm just going to go ahead and follow this. I should not be in your room while you're having a little snooze. I'm going to close the door for you. Did I just lock Sarah in there? Did I just... Yeah, Sarah, come on. Sarah? <laughs> Sarah? We need to talk to John Tuala in mass. Okay. Uh, oh, do you mind if I ask you some personal questions while we're in somebody else's bedroom who is fast asleep and we definitely weren't invited in here? Now seems like a really great time to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Uh, ooh, what do you consider your areas of expertise? I don't like the phrasing of that question. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as I planetary bet. exploration, my area of expertise is botany. <gasps> so don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Sarah, please, please teach me all about all of your favorite plants. I just want to learn. I just, besties, besties, I just really like to learn. <laughs> I'd, so, I'd so like to learn all of your knowledge, Sarah, about all of your plants. How delightful. How delightful. I think we made a friend. How did this happy, happy accident happen? I don't know. Space botanist. Space botanist. Very excited to be a space botanist, that's for sure. That is for sure. Right, what else should we say? Um, You're awfully quiet. Patience, Sarah. Is there anything else you'd like to do for fun besides exploring? Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. Sarah's growing that on being me, chat. said, I will make a confession. But you have to promise to keep it between us. All right. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic, Ironic Comet. Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. All right, Sarah, and before you're growing you ask, on me. No, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. Of course you did! The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Oh, chat, she's growing on me so much, like a true botanist. Do you have any religious beliefs? My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that okay. I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Okay. Having been Understand. out there in, in the, the starfield, star field. seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. I might be catching some feels, chat. Just putting it out there. I hope you got something out of that. I certainly did, Sarah. I certainly did. 
certainly did. You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. Ooh. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Mm. Okay. Until later. Come on, Sarah, let's go. Oh, did he, he wake up? Look, he's still asleep. It's so rude of us. It's so rude of us to be like this. Right, come on then, I've had a wine. Let's go exploring. You coming, Sarah? I hope so. <laughs> I saw your eyes popped out of your skull. I was just, re just really excited, okay? Just really excited. Oh, look at all the plants. Sarah, look at the plants. Sarah, look at Sarah, look at the plants. It's you and me from here out. Talk oh. to you later. I, I think I'm developing a crush chat. Do you know what? This was not on my finger card. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact no. me if you're interested. Don't give me another it. quest. Oh, Bethesda! Why you gotta be bethesda so hard? And so it begins. The quest, the quest from a random passerby. Oh, I don't, I didn't even see them. Didn't even see them and they're asking me to do something. Am I going on a water flume? Is that what this is? Does anybody else feel like they're going on a water flume? <gasps> Lilies. Whoa, look at that. Oh, do you think if I jumped in there, do you think I would die? How deep do you think it is? Uh, it's not, it's not deep at all. Is it deep here? Can I look underwater? Oh, look! Look at their little tendrils! Oh! Hi! It's nice to meet you, Angolo. Very beautiful. Do you flower in the night? Me too. Got a lot in common. I should stop. Hi, Sarah! God, I'm so sorry I brought you in here. Look, I just need to tell you something. I just need to tell you something. I got a video message today from Aunt Nieces. My partner's, uh... My, my partner's nieces. Aunt Nieces. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. This is a ridiculous story to tell, but I'm gonna say it. Um, and the video is uh, her mum's video, and, and she's saying, What did you draw at school today? <laughs> and she says, I drew a fish with testicles. <laughs> and her mum goes, Do you mean tentacles? <laughs> and she goes, no! <laughs> that's it, that's the video! <laughs> She's four! <laughs> She's four! <laughs> She's four! <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what this made me think of! That's what, that's what this made me think of! <laughs> Sir Mike, nice to meet you. You've joined just as I'm telling a very unrelated story. That happens quite a lot. Thank you for the follows, folks. Andrea 46 thank you so much for the 46 months. Holy moly, apparently I've been here from some time. Good to be home, and it's good to have you home. Thank you so much, Dreyad. Welcome back. Welcome home. Oh, precious. So precious. Can I get under here? This looks awfully like gla grass. Glass. <laughs> Do you mean tentacles? No. <laughs> and that was it. She didn't want to talk anymore. Look at these beautiful plants. Can I scan these? No. Oh, that's such a shame. Never mind. I guess we've got to go down there. Up there. Bird song or alarm? Hello. It's nice 
nice to meet you. Bonjour. Bonjour. Been up there, huh? Private sector. Now that's where the real money's at. None of the security seems very happy. Well, should we go and get you one? Something to report? Can I go... Can I go get you one? Didn't I try and do this before? Hold on. Where's the coffee shop? Oh, damn. Um... Okay, all for a cup of coffee right now. If you were a coffee shop, where would you be? If you were a coffee shop, where would you be? It's got to be down here somewhere. Bright lights. Open. Are these coffee shops open? Settled news network. That's a very big pond. Looks like great for swimming. Not today, not right now. Um, yeah, welcome. I just finished the tutorial. Yeah, absolutely. Some fish balls. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pmux, for gifting a sub for fish balls. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed in. I'd like. I can just take them right in front of your face. I can just take your plants. I mean, okay. Can I take the cushion? Don't do it, Polo, don't do it. All right, um, we are gonna go and I thought somebody spilled some water on the floor. No, it's just super shiny. I would like to um, go and find that person a cup of coffee. They said they'd kill for a cup of coffee, so we're gonna go and find him a cup of coffee. Cause you know what? I feel like doing that. So that's where we're going. If you're wondering what a slow run of Starfield is, may this be your answer. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. I would be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. It's true. <laughs> There's our new friend. Uh, right, now we need to go to... Commercial District. Is it just going to put me straight back where I came in? I bet it is. Fish to cause. Gosh, I thank you for gifting us off to fish to cause. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Here we go. Terror Brew. There we are. Terror brew. That's what I wanted. What kind of coffee do you think they'd like? Do we go boring? As you because they might like that. Hi. Hi. Hello and welcome to Terror brew. How may I serve you? And they tell yeah. me that everything's their favorite thing. I know. Just take your time. Okay. Oh. Let's get a cappuccino. I'll get the other person one as well. Because wouldn't and wouldn't that be a really best. specific one? Oh, what if she wants something else? Certainly. Please take your time. What what if I What if I get her one of everything? Tell me you're a people pleaser without telling me that you're a people pleaser. I'll just get her one of everything. Change, but one thing's Off we go. Now, how do I find her again? Haven't got a single clue. Let's go back to the whizzy thing. Uh, and today, whizzy thing means... Oh, no, I'm lost already. It's down there, I think. Yep, there it is. Lovely jubbly. Does it have an effect like potions? I think so, because they were under health. So we're just going to go on back. When you were in Italy, you lived on Macchiatos. Um, Mast District. Did we leave Sarah behind? She didn't get, she didn't catch the bus. She didn't catch, didn't catch the bus. What's a Macchiato? I don't think I know what a Macchiato is. All right. Do we have a Sarah with us? Yep, she's all the way over there. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> yes again it's better to get left behind in a city than a cave for sure look now look now just because I left Terence the tractor in a cave when I was playing Astroneer this one time it doesn't need to mean that you need to guilt me about it for forever in a day chat it just doesn't daughter <laughs> Vane, thank you so much for giving us up to DoorDash. That's brilliant. <laughs> thank you. And Neo, the 
39 months holy butts thank you so much for the 39 months thank you so much for the massive tier two that's almost 40 how on earth did we get here i don't know whatever planetary body you fancy don't make it naughty hi i got your coffee talk to the scientist behind this tree Wait, what? I just wanted to give you a coffee. I just wanted to give you a coffee. I think I got them, uh, what do you call them? Do you want one? Okay, okay, where's the scientist by the tree? Chat, actual question. Did I actually get a quest to give that person some coffee? Did they give me an actual quest? Actual question. Look at this beautiful tree. <gasps> Look at this beautiful tree. Can we climb it? Oh, we should definitely climb it. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Can you imagine all the changes it's seen? Don't think so. Yes, yes and no. Actual quest, but not from her. Okay. All right. I'd like to, I'd like to get up there, please. I guess I can't jump because I'm, my head's doing a thing. What about? If I do this. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. Oh, I appear to have been lost in the textures. Never mind. I had a good time. A wish or something. Yeah. Well, I just like trees. <laughs> Hello. Did you say Sarah do a little somersault there? No, Moose. Hello? I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. Relatable. To the bottom of this. Relatable. Is something wrong? Yes. Concerned is an understatement. Is it? I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Oh, dear. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Mm. I've passed I know, by I wish I did. tree many times, and honestly, I never gave it a second thought. And you call yourself a botanist? Does it hold some sort of special significance? Finally, somebody understands. Unless, wait, you're not mocking me, right? People. <clears throat> Look, I have a lot of work to do here. No, we want to help. If you're just no, going to no, talk, we want to help. I'd ask that you move on. Kelton, we want to if help. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Absolutely. I would absolutely love well, to help. That's... Thank you. That's unexpected. It's really not unexpected uh, from there's us. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis. Okay. All calibrated to gather pertinent information. Okay. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Okay. A tree grows in New Atlantis. Locate the biosensors. Are we saving a tree? Service with a smile. That's the UC way. Are we gonna... I think they're all part of the same tree. And they're doing that neural network thing where trees roots uh, they all talk to each other. Oh, it's so exciting. Bethesda makes a game about space. Colo <laughs> makes it all about plants. <laughs> all right. So there's one. I guess... We go... Didn't I get a jetpack?
basic boost pack. No, stop that. You're going to kill someone. I'm sorry. I don't know how to put it away. Really sorry, Sarah. I feel like I feel I feel like I feel like I let her down. I feel I feel like I let her down. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Just totally let you down. Chat, actual question. How do I use my jetpack? Actual question. How do I... How do I use my jetpack? She's not angry, just disappointed. Yeah. Checks out. Checks out. Story of my life. Double press space. Uh, I'm on controller. Jump. And then jump hold. This is going to be about my talents, isn't it? This is going to be all about my talents, isn't it? That I've completely forgotten about. Yep, yeah, this is... This is going to be the moment where we realise that I should have uh, sorted this out a really long time ago. <laughs> Here we are in the talent screen for the very first time. Uh, by the way, there's a reason that this playthrough is called slow running. Uh, now you know. Um, cool. Combat. Nope. Social. Sure. Persuasion. Ooh. Gastronomy. Ooh. Commerce. Ooh. Uh, scavenging. Oh, Lord. <gasps> Current theft. Theft. Physical. Wellness. Weightlifting. Stealth. Fitness, boxing, science, astrodynamics, geology. I did a geology. I did. Uh, medicine, research methods. Research. Okay. Oh, wow. There's so much to look at. <gasps> Hot damn. Um, okay. Hi, hanging. Thank you so much for the 47 months. Holy moly. Thank you so much for the 47. Spacesuit design. Scanning. Oh my goodness, botany. Botany, how many points have I got? Three. Botany, well, that's what it's going to be, isn't it? Why is geology shouting at me? Rank two available. Get more rare inorganic resources. Unlock this rank to increase skill. I did my quest. Rank up. Well, that took one of my skill points. I didn't know if that was going to give me something because of the challenge point. Um, but I absolutely want to I absolutely want to spend it here because I really want to do botany. But where's the jet? Where's the jetpacks? Security. Boost pack training. Oh, but chat, if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to spend my point in botany. Do I want plants or do I want a boost pack? Oh, such a hard decision. Carlo, you can get them both. You just have to, just patience. You just, <laughs> you just have to be as patient as everybody who is frustrated about you for only just doing this right now. Um, do I want boost pack training or do I want botany? Do you know what? I want boost pack training. And the reason that I want boost pack training chat is so I can see more plants. So really, when you think about it, it's all about botany. Um, right, so we did some geology. Okay, unlock, increase grab jump range. Resources required to craft items and complete research projects is reduced by 10%. Unlock. Oh, I'd like that. An optional zoom to the hand scanner and scan distance is increased to 20 meters. I'd like that because uh, my scanner has al always been out of range. And then... Botany is next. Right, so we have a jetpack. Oh, I hit a tree.
Oh, baby! I can't get up there. Do you think I can fly up here? Oh, <laughs> I'm not very good at using jetpacks yet. Oh, come on, up you get. Lovely jubbly. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hi, Lucifer. It seems you're doing things I've already seen in my sneaky steely. If it's not bottled down, I'm taking it overburdened. Game of high, Lucifer. Thank you for the bits. This is our plant pack. Um, yeah, essentially, Lucifer, I've just sort of completed the tutorial and that's basically where I am. Um, but now we're on a plant hunt. Um, we're doing some plant sensors for a scientist. Uh, we're just going to go and make sure that all of his plant sensors are all right. Is there one in the pool? Do we have to go swimming? Oh, baby. Do we have to go swimming? How do I dive? I'd like to dive. Where was it? Nope. It's not. It's not here. It's over there. Here I was thinking that we were going to have to go for a cheeky little swim. Jet plant. Colo meet patients. Patients meet colo. First time you two have met. Yeah, it's like when it's sunny outside. Um, and I have to introduce the sun really slowly and gradually to my skin. Because it hurts. Because uh, I'm extremely pale and I burn very, very quickly. Oh, no, no, no! of university I strained all the tendons in the top of my right foot because uh, there was a little wall and I climbed on it and then I jumped off the other side thinking it was also going to be just a foot high it wasn't a foot high it was one of those like um, passes under a uh, under a roundabout and I wasn't paying attention. It was about a six foot drop. It was about a six foot drop, chat. Am I following the wrong bit? I bet I am. Never mind. No, that looks very much like a plant. Uh, all right. Hello, coffee. There's no Terra Brew back home. But... Up here. Ooh, it's like a honeycomb. Balberg. Is there a sensor over here? Where's the sensor? There's the sensor. Oh, the sensor is a person. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one eggs. so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Eggs? I'll be sure and let you know, mate. Okay, thanks. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution Another got quest. the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Okay. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Can we chat, kid? Hi, miss. Do we... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Me neither. You can't go away. Me neither. Was this the same night as the plant heist a picture is starting to come together? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, it was It was the same year as the plant heist. Why are you sending me over there? I don't want to go over there. Oh, this is extremely confusing. I don't want to get in there yet. I want to do all the things that I'm supposed to do here before I do all the things that I'm supposed to do there. You're out there a lot, right? In space. All right. I'm adorable. I'm also sometimes a nightmare. Um, thanks for thinking that. Uh, hi. Are you the droid I'm looking I'm for? I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. Brilliant. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Sure. Welcome to UC Distribution. Thanks. Now, before you say a word, 
I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. Right, and how long has it been offline? I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks. Sure, but two weeks, yeah. But you know yeah. how these things are. I yeah. am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Two weeks, sure. Okay, great. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. I see. I see. Um, I'd like to see what you have for sale. What is it you do here? Hmm. You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? It's all in the name. We distribute materials and products all around the United Colonies. Never a dull moment. Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. I zoned out. Should we do it again? You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? It's all in Honest. the name. We distribute materials and products all around the United Colonies. Never a dull moment. Always okay. something going on and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Yes, of course. Do you Please think the egg is for sale? Um, bandages, bacon, salty pork perfection. It's got Canadian leaves on it. Um, cosmetic, Equinox fiber fluorine frac grenade. Right, come on then. Where's your magic egg? No. No magic egg. Fancy. Do we have any? No. All right. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. I'll have it, please. Why? What is it? Nothing! Uh... Nothing, just some junk. That so? Must mean something to you if you came looking for it. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it. Plus, a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, Profiting off a child, I see. Right. Uh... Can't you just give it to me? I could. But I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. It's true. It's true. It's true. All the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there. All right, fine. No one who said it was junk. If that's true, why bother coming back for it at Optional all? Optional steal the sensor. Did you see that come up, chat? Back to it then. That your ship that landed not too long ago sure is something everything good we're here to help this game is testing me there are also plants available to steal person literally right here i don't want to get in trouble oh oh do i stick look no i'm gonna I'm be good due to recent legislative action i'm no longer able to allocate ships fine i can however deal in general fine goods. fine welcome to uc distribution fine. something i can do for yeah you? i'll have it fine no. fine pleasure doing business with you i'm enough guts to steal with it I'd quite like to. You're always welcome back. If you don't mind Honestly, I I'd, I'd quite like to steal it from you, but I I just I just don't have the confidence in my thieving abilities. They're not honed particularly well just yet. All right. Hi Pancake. Good evening. 
any advice for streaming? Uh, yeah, we sometimes do uh, streams that are about streaming where people can ask exactly those questions. Um, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. It's corny, but it is true. Uh, if you're trying to recreate something that somebody else has been doing, then you're always going to be second best at it because uh, that's them and you're you. Uh, lean into whatever it is that makes you you. Um, don't sweat the small stuff and don't be a dick. That's my streaming advice. Kids miss you. Be welcoming. Be kind. Be you. If you're not a welcoming or kind person, then um, be welcoming and kind. <laughs> How do I get over here? Is that where I would fall off the face of the earth? Possibly. Oh, is it a bridge? Be kind, rewind. How do I dive? I could see under there. Chat, actual question. Can I, can I swim? Can I like dive down? Actual question. Does anybody know? No? Oh, I wanted to see... A, I wanted to see my feet. I can't see them. I was getting a little bit worried. Can I stand on a lily pad? Uh, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. Sarah did say that she doesn't care about stealing unless I get caught. Um... It's true. It's true. This is really cool. Everything looks like a huge ship. Like, the buildings all look like ships. They all look like they could disconnect and just take off. Wild. I really like that we're on a tree quest. That makes me exceptionally happy. Oh, look, there's a little place for us to get up. Lovely. It's like they knew we were going to be here. Whoa, don't die! They definitely knew we were going to be here. Hello. Ding, ding. Uh, where else? Over there. Let's get up there then. Shortcuts, thanks to a boost pack. See, I knew we put, I knew we should have specced in boosting. I'm very proud of us, chat. Well done, us. We could have picked botany, but we picked plants and it helped. We picked boosting and it helped us with the plants things. It's a real weird amalgamation of future and modern. So, what's the point? Great question. Oh, hello. Hi. Cool. Deliver the sensors. Okie dokie. Off we go. What did I just overhear here? What did you say? Feel like you've seen everything? Space used to be a lot harder on my body. Now it's mostly time. What brings you out here? Just enjoying the view. <laughs> These days, my favorite thing to do is sit. And listen, the wind, the trees, they all have their own language. Sometimes they even sing. Can you adopt me? Please, immediately. I'm close to 80 years old, so I will spare you the long version. <laughs> to put it simply, I lived, and I loved. And really, does a person need anything else? No, they don't. No. No. To live and laugh is more than enough. <laughs> I agree. Some would say it's not enough. But if that were true, I would not be at peace. <gasps> Do you have any advice for me? You don't need my advice. You're alive. 
And you've survived everything that comes with that title. Which is to say, you are an achievement. A gift. Never forget that. I feel like I've either just met a like fairy godparent or I'm about to join a cult. And I'm really hoping that it's the touching moment fairy godparent because I want I want more of this. Oh, it just so happens I need a letter delivered to my pen pal in Sidonia. Pay us in advance. One thousand credit. That's a lot. Why trust this letter to a stranger? What is a stranger except a friend you haven't met? Besides, there's something about you that I like. And I've always trusted my gut. Okay. Who is the pen pal? Her name is Hattie. She used to live in the apartment I live in now. Okay. I used to get all her packages because she never bothered <laughs> to change her address. One day I tracked her down and sent her a letter. She sent one back. And from then on, we just never stopped responding. Okay. All right, we'll help you. Bless you, child. I believe you'll find Hattie at the community center in Sidonia. Okay. Just hand her the letter. She'll know who it's from. All right. Okay. Oh, I wasn't that exciting. We did so much. We're gonna, we're gonna help some friends communicate. We're gonna sort some plants out. We're gonna help a scientist. We're gonna do other things. <laughs> Hi, Bell Draco. It's nice to see ya. Lordy. Hey, Sir Mike, I have a name. You're welcome to call me Colo, not her. Our whole office is getting moved to Gagar. Okay. Did you see them try and get out of my way? Oh, there we go. All right, we're getting better at this now. Boosty boost. Oh, it's so beautiful, this big tree. What's happening to it? Please tell me we can save it. Please tell me it's not gonna die. I don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need those sensors and quickly. I've got them. So you do. Wonderful. Yeah. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. Okay. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. Okay. He's busy. And just another moment. I keep trying to talk to him and it says that individual is busy in the top right corner. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Relief. All right. <laughs> now, let's see. This is... <laughs> I love it when games make you wait like this in well, real time. It's... Is that... Oh, my. Unpopular opinion? Oh no. Okay. Well, there's good news and bad news. Alright, bad news first, then the good the news. The good news is that oh. my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the oh, tree. Oh no, how do we save it? I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more oh, than Oh, what's wrong with it? This doesn't sound like good news. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat Selfish man. So the good news is, you were Bad right. News, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In what? this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. Oh, wow. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. No, let me help you some more. Great, thank you so much for the 2,000 credits and everything. Um, uh, check in on Kelton later. Is it later? Thank you for your help retrieving the biosensors. The data from the biosensors speaks for itself. I just... I, w I want to know the answer now. This is like when they release a series and they release it episode by episode. <laughs> it's 
very much like that, isn't it? Tamaru, thank you for the bit. So true what she just said. What did she just say? I'm sorry that I missed it. What was it? Oh my goodness, I did. Investigate brownouts in the well? Is this going to tell me how to get to the well? Is this going to tell me how to get to the well? get to that marker down here down in there then all right all right how do we get that we should probably finish the quest that we're we should we should probably finish the quest that we're on first, shouldn't we? We should finish the quest. Chat, we should finish the quest. To summarize, she said you were awesome, which you are. Let's three to more room by your heckin' heart. To come back later. All right. Um, where were we? Oh, this is... Talk to Sarah's contact. Should I mark that one? Show on map. Show me. Oh no. Oh no, I don't. Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. Are you going to give me another quest line? The old neighborhood. Are we going to go up here? You're going to give me a lovely market. Here we go. Right, This is the quest that we started on. Let's try and finish this one first, shall we? I'm very good at getting distracted. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? It's me, Golo. Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. What are you doing all the way over there, Sarah? Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Um... I'd rather chart stars than fight wars. I would. It's Whoa. true. Where have I heard that line before? No, oh, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. <laughs> I'd surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Moera. Helps patrol Good the name. old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune. You know. The Sol system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian. Oh born no. And raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Oh no, what's wrong with Sol? Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been Oh no, what's wrong with grounders. Sol? Matches that description Sarah gave me. What's wrong with Sol? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Oh, chat. No one cares about Sol. Well, I guess we better go to Sol then, hey? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. What? <laughs> nah. Sol's system is as quiet as a coffin. Oh. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, we've got a letter to deliver the there, I think. Between patrols. Sidonia? Uh, a bar in a space for anything you can tell me about Sidonia. Yeah, bring a coloring book. Get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. Uh, all right, did he say where he found this ornament? You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Well, 
Fine, thanks Pity for your help. For Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. The prodigal children, Sarah, oh, hey? I'm oh, serious about Sarah. the recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to Sidonia. I guess that's where we're going, huh? <sighs> There's so many quests. Um, I'm already overwhelmed. Let's see if we can... Do you think it's later enough for us to go and check in on him? How later is later? I'd like to go and find out now. Oh, you've got it sorted now? I'm so glad, Commander. Do you think it's late enough? Hi! These bindings are... alarming. Let's hope that Mast takes these bindings seriously. Can you tell me any more? The data from the biosensors speaks for itself. Oh, all right, fine. I oh, will right. Fine, fine. 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 Um, do we go to Sidonia then? Is that where my dream home is? See, Landry Holfield in New Atlantis about my mortgage. Well, let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. Set course. Uh, oh no. Oh no, I've done it again. I'm finding the UI really tricky to get used to. Is that you? Or you? What's that down there? Oh, I guess that's the quick travel to that bit. I'm going the long way. We're going the scenic route. Going the scenic route, chat. The trees are so beautiful, I can't get over it. Quick, quick, move before they give you another quest. Quick, quick, move before they give you another quest! I love it when people walk through the plants in games. I love that. I love that the plants are like overtaking on the paths as well. It makes me so endlessly happy, it really does. Well, what happy little accident that was. Lovely, lovely big tree climbing. No! No! <laughs> Bethesda! Please! I'm already overwhelmed with quests. Holy moly. All right. What fresh hell is this? Chair, sit. You cannot use this at this time. Well, I'm quite glad about that because somebody is sitting in it. Listen, I have a lot on my plate right now. And you don't look like a new hire stumbling through their first day. And who exactly are you? Um, I'm the new receptionist. Sidearms are now standard. Read the menu. I'm going to say it. What? Oh, you. You really look like I'm you know how to use that thing. I have an eye for talent. And I have a feeling about you. Oh, do you? Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Kiss me, really. Okay. I have a business proposition for you that could uh, help us both out. Very lucrative. You read Laundry instead of Landry? Is their name not Laundry? I did wonder. You're buttering me up pretty thick. <laughs> It is Landry. So you see right through. I read Laundry too. <laughs> You've got a good eye. You are just the person I'm looking okay. for. Okay. Well, confession time. I might just be a little desperate. Don't say. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeats and reprobates is, uh, well, it's a tough field. And what I need is a ringer. Someone that can collect some of our top delinquent offenders. What I need is you. You work with me. And the fee you get will be huge. Uh, uh. 
Okay, quite. How corrupt are you, sir? Oh, I can tell you're eager. That's good. But we'll start small and work our way up to the worst offenders. Okay. Fine. Yes. <laughs> so, we got a galaxy class con man took out a loan to franchise a restaurant. Turns out, surprise, it was a scam. Surprise. And Dieter Maliki jumps system. Now, he's holed up in a literal shack in the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the job is simple. Get Dieter to pay. Is this going to be violent? We don't want him dead. We don't want him hurt. Okay. Just close his account like an honest citizen. Right. Uh. Um. Uh. What happens if he dies? How do I get him to pay? Well, you may need to lean on him, scare him. Nothing illegal. Just talk. Oh, this to is him. making me all kinds of uncomfortable. Don't to any sob stories he tells you. Fine. These are scab laws. They're not scum. They're just normal bloody people. All right. Do you know what? I'm going to go and meet him. All the details. Fine. I'm going to go and meet him, and we'll see what happens. Cut it deep, but don't expect Fine. It. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'm going to go and talk Together, to him. Together, we can really make a difference. I. Want to talk to you about my house? Right, small home in the Olympus system, right? There's a balance on that property. Argos extractors negotiated a very fine loan for you. Lovely, there are great. Weekly payments, um, but if you miss a payment, no big deal. It's a pay-as-you-go type of affair. Okay. But I think we'd all be happier if you dealt with the more. Yeah, can I pay some other. of it off already? Um. Tell me my options. Certainly. So there are two ways to take care of a loan for good. Pay it off? One's easy. Just pay off the balance. Yeah. And the house is yours, free and clear. And you are one very happy new homeowner. Right. The other option, less ideal, is just walk away well, and we foreclose. Well, well I'm not going to call that an option, sir. Um, I don't have 1,200... 125,000 credits on hand to pay off the loan. The bank can have the head... Yo, okay, I don't I don't have that on hand. That is a chunk of change to be sure. It certainly but is. We don't do partial You payments. don't do partial Sorry, payments. It's in the contract. Do I have to pay you, you get the money all though? of it? We're happy to settle the mortgage. For I haven't even you been have there day. yet. I did fall for the well, classic bloody there. Tom Nook I mean, scheme. Absolutely. Do you like working here? Absolutely. When you make civilization make sure that our reputation, reputation is flawless. Is flawless. So people can do true collections isn't the most I would like to leave as soon as possible, please. I'd like to go ahead and leave as soon Can you as how many possible. Credits flow through this place? Thanks. Figuratively, of course. Yeah, I'd rather not think about it, to be honest. It makes me feel just a little bit sick. Uh, I'd like to visit my dream home. I'd like to visit my dream home. Um, what's this? Back to the grind. Okay, apply for a job. Don't really want to do that. Due in full. Uh, collect the debt. Oh my goodness. Well, where do we go? Let's, let's, let's do this. Show on map. Let's do that. Uh, set course. Jump. Does it just take me straight back to my ship straight away? Oh, we're ready to depart. Welcome to you. Oh my goodness, it does already. Your oh, that's so good. I don't have to find my way back. Oh my god, that's so good. I'm so pleased I don't have to find my way home. Oh, how lovely. Fabulous. All right, well, where are we going then? Splendid. What's this? Mars. Uh, open planet map. Let's have a look, shall we? Here we are. We're in Seoul. I kind of wanted to jump in. Is it, is it bad that I wanted to jump in? So here we are, Seoul. So, Earth. We'll go and visit Earth after we've done this mission. After we've done, after we've done this this mission, we'll visit Earth. Cydonia. Set landing target land that's the that was the wrong button open planet map cydonia set landing target land a 
After we've done with the mission, anyone taking pets and the number of actual missions this will take lots. Look at how beautiful space is! Look at how beautiful space is! It's so beautiful! Here we are on Mars. We made it to Mars. is going to be very fun here. plan stay on mars i don't know however long the quest takes me maybe longer probably longer building side only completely underground was a clever way open cycling we made it to mars here we are Welcome to Cydonia, humanity's stepping stone to the stars. A hundred and twenty-three hours without incident. What do you mean there's no work? Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much Always money we nice spent to, to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We were Broken told there spear. were jobs. Look, 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 I get it. Bye. Nothing like living under the light of our original sun. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment when one of those particle detonations goes off. Hey, careful around the equipment. Don't want to lose an arm or something. What's going on here? Oh, I love low gravity. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm floating on air. A mixture of beer and vodka, definitely an acquired taste. Beer teeny. Did we ruin Sol? Yeah. Okay, we ruined Sol, didn't we? Hello. 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 Any local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything like that. You don't do this job Beth. for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. That's bad. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Absolutely no reaction from this dude. Is this normal? You're right, I meant no offense. See? What? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't even about. blink! You give respect? Um, I'd like a drink, please. What's your poison? Um... Jack. It's got Jack's name on it. Bourbon. It's a forbidden... <laughs> it's a forbidden Capri Sun. It's a forbidden Capri Sun. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of those. I'm gonna buy one of those and I'm gonna show Jack Little when we see him. Um, a drink pack. I like that they're all in juice boxes. Advanced nutrition formulated for health. Beer. Um, honestly, none of this looks great, I'm gonna be honest. None of it looks ideal. Um, brewed in Al. Tequila City. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, red ale because I'm ginger. Just the one, please. Uh, just the one. Thanks. Uh, I'm looking for a Vanguard good name for her. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. 
Capri Sun juice is a forbidden, is it due to sick? No, no, no. I mean, the, um, uh, I mean, it looks like a, a forbidden version of a Capri Sun because it's alcoholic. So it looks like a naughty Capri Sun is what I was trying to say. The one in game focus. Not your dad's juice box. It does look like my dad's juice box. Right. I uh, could track him down if you know his patrol routes. I'm not about to leave a brave soldier behind to help, help us find him. The blackest sea. You got another word for it? He means outer space. Ma'am. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Mm. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? Oh, we're gonna have to pay his tab off. 2,500 credits. Your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. Fine, I'll settle his tab. Persuade, he could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Skip to the part when you admit you're lying. I'm gonna try and persuade. Come on. You have gained self-esteem, empath! Look at this, look, look! You have gained... <laughs> you have gained self-esteem! <laughs> If I knew it was as simple as playing a computer game and speaking to an NPC in a bar, I would have done it a long time ago, okay, Starfield? <laughs> if only it was that easy. Lord, if only it was that easy. All right, let's try and persuade this dude, shall we? Uh, uh, right then. Uh, I'll need a perk like that in real life, please. Uh, what matters to you more than money or Moara's life? Uh, I want you to imagine him out there alone and here you are holding out for cash. Yeah. I want him found. I do. Yeah. All right, I give up. Nice! I'm just we trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moara kept yelling about the Lady of Love. The Lady of Love? songs. All that kind of thing. Okay. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? A whole planet is not a patrol route. Fine. We'll make do. Okay, go to Venus. Go to Venus, chat. Sarah, you can get up now, mate. So we also want to go to the community center here. Um, we have another quest. We want. I want to deliver that lovely letter from our friend, uh, this one. Sidonia, this one. Show on map. Yeah. Y yeah, missions. Deliver the letter to Hadi and Sidonia at the community center. It said community center. Let's see if we can find the community center. Out the way, 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 out the way. Map, map. The miners pretty much run the lower levels here. Um, community center, LL 2.3, lower level. Lower level 2.3. Ooh, pink. In here? Residential. New quest break time. Flip through. All right, you're right, place. you're right. You're right. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> Set like a tree botanist. Set like a tree botanist. It does look like a harsh environment. It certainly does. Flamethrower, thank you for the bits. What I'm actually gonna do, it is very, very warm in here. It is one of the hottest day of the year. If you haven't heard me say it before, it's nearing 32 degrees Celsius in the office right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is, instead of taking a break now, we are gonna finish early tonight. I think that's what I'm gonna do uh, because it is nearing a temperature that's gonna be hard for me to be streaming, even with the fan on full blast here. Um, 
but thank you flamethrower for the uh thank you very much for the heads up okay okay hi howdy i have a pen pal in new atlantis we've never met in person but she's still one of my best friends i'm gonna ask you all the other questions first not to get all sappy but i lost a son in the war it's been 20 years but it still makes my brain a bit swirly thinking about it mm. just never got to say goodbye you know that bugs me oh that's so sad so i come here to try and get peace understandable Hadi. understandable you think of the caretakers here joy and horus i think they get along well enough sure they argue but that's a good thing this agreement's healthy. What good are your beliefs if you never have to defend them? All right. Leitcha, thank you so much for the 46. I love potato. Thank you so much for the 46 months. Thank you. Still doing things by hand, huh? I keep telling her she needs to act her age, not the stone one. <laughs> but some people think being difficult builds character. Oh, well. Let's see what she wrote. I know. I hope this doesn't mean... You look like you've seen a ghost. No, not quite. But the way this reads, I don't have much time. I need to go see her. If she's really on death's door, then this could be my only chance. Oh? Thank you for bringing me this. Can I help you? I'd like to help you, Patty. Let me help. Can I help you get get there, Patty? Can I? Sometimes it feels like the UC forgets we're out here. I can't help but you get there. You yeah, let me help you. Can I help you? Can I give you a ride? Oh Lord. Um. Well. The good thing is, chat. Now I know that I can skill up in botany. I'm not going to forget about my skill points. Uh, remember that I said that. <laughs> remember, remember, oh, I've frozen. Hold on, stand by. She froze. Give me a sec. No, that's not what I'm saying. At Hi, all. You've got to it's have me, I'm back. Half your power it's, I think it's the, I think it's the, <laughs> it's the heat. <laughs> I think it's the heat just the reason. Running with those Varun crazes. Well, friends, um, what I think we are going to do is I think we might leave it here for today. I'm back again tomorrow. Back again tomorrow for another uh, foray with fun. And I'd love to see you there. YouTube, thanks for YouTubing with us. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next episode. Um, and uh, come see us on Twitch if you want to see it live. It's pretty snazzy hanging out live. Maybe come see us sometime. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Kolo is now the plant lady of the universe. That I am. Actually, that's my mum. Hate to tell you, but that's actually my mum. That's actually. It's actually my mum. Uh, we're gonna leave it here partly because it is extremely warm in here. Extremely warm, and uh, I don't want to give myself a uh, heat stroke. I need to make sure that I'm all right. There is a very large face in the corner. What's the face? Why is there a large face in the corner? Activate? On July 25th, 1976, the Viking 1 Orbiter spacecraft took its first photos of the Cydonia region off Mars. Among them was an image of what appeared to be a humanoid face on the surface of Marge, Mars. The image inspired the imaginations of millions, cementing humanity's passion for space exploration and once again begging the question, are we alone out there? Later photography would reveal that the face was no more a mountain, more, no more than a mountain shadows and perhaps humanity's greatest case of peri... peridolia? Per, peridolia? A tendency to perceive specific meaningful imagery in an otherwise ambiguous or random visual pattern. Nevertheless, the legend of this face on Mars remains an important inspiration for many to this day. 
it's terrifying. I'm going to be honest, it's absolutely terrifying. Thank you, homicidal luggage, for clipping that. I will, of course, we'll need it. Of course we will. Thank you for joining us, friends. I appreciate it. Appreciate your your company. You only have limited time and that you choose to spend it with this ginger is pretty snazzy. Thank you so much for spending it with me. Um, I will be back on Twitch tomorrow. I don't know when we'll be back, YouTube, but we're going to upload them as they come. So stay tuned. And uh, I hope that those of you who are playing are enjoying playing. Um, and once again, do you keep talking about the accessibility in this game? Because it's not fantastic. And I would love Bethesda to put some extra options in. Um, I would love to see that happen officially and not rely on modders to do it. I really would. All right. I am going to find us somebody to go and say hello to. Go and raid. Until next time. Until next time. Good night, YouTubers. The best of potatoes. Chat is saying goodbye to YouTube. Um, we are going to go and say hello to... Oh, my goodness. There are so many people playing. Ooh. Do you know what we should do? Yeah, we should. We're going to go and say hello to DJ Knight. We haven't seen DJ Knight in absolutely ages. Um, I met DJ because DJ was playing uh, Elite Dangerous. And it's so wonderful that all of my Elite Dangerous friends are playing Star <laughs> playing Starfield. Uh, and we kind of get to go and say hi to them again. So we're going to go and see DJ. Um, we're going into a um, uh, an 18 plus stream. Um, and DJ is currently buying coffee. 10 out of 10. Uh, I don't know whereabouts uh, he is in the game. Uh, so there may be spoilers. Uh, looks like he's exploring uh, Terra Blue, Terra Brew, where we just were. So uh, come on with me. Here is the raid message. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Thank you so, so much for being here. Now back to Minecraft. Enjoy. Keep yourselves nice and cool, everybody. Keep yourselves nice and cool. Um, have I just... Did I just miss that Real Boy is streaming as well? Oh, we'll have to go and get him next time. Oh, we'll have to go and get him next time. I missed that the Real Boy is streaming. We'll have to go and get him next time. All right, off we go. Uh, friends, um, please, before we go, thank the mods. We wouldn't be here without them. They're wonderful. They make all of this nonsense possible. I love them endlessly, mods. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you haven't already, you can come find me in all of these places. Our playthrough is being uploaded to YouTube if you want to see me uh, slow play, slow walk, slow run through anything else on YouTube. Go and have a little look. Um, and if I don't see you elsewhere, I'll see you tomorrow before then, all right? Now... I say this every time and I mean it every time. Please tell the people that you love that you love them. Very important. Very important. Tell the people you love you love them. And treat yourself with as much kindness as you would treat somebody else that you love. Be as kind to yourself as you would be to somebody else that you love. All right, are we ready? Be gay, save the galaxy. Be gay, save the galaxy. Take care of yourselves. Cool yourselves down and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for a lovely Tuesday and happy birthday tomorrow. Take care. See you soon. All right. Bye.